In this video, I'm going to teach you a very useful tutorial on how to download and install HP LaserJet 1020 printer driver in your Windows 11 PC or laptop. So without any further ado, let's begin. Now firstly, we need to identify our operating system. So how we can do so, we need to proceed here at the button search bar here and type for info. Once you've typed it, please wait until a best match should appear in this window and once it's here, please click on open to continue. So once a new window which is this would appear, please proceed to operating system where you can see whether if you have Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 7 or any of it. Okay, and from that, please proceed to the system type and under the system type, you can see if you have x64 base PC, x32 or ARM64, okay? So once you have the identify your operating system as well as the system type, you need to close the window and navigate to the button search bar again and this time, please type for a kernel. Once you've typed it, the best match would appear, please wait and click on open once it's here. Now in a few moments, you would be redirected to the Google Chrome browser. Please wait until everything are set here before you proceed. Once everything are set, please proceed at the search bar here at the center and type for HP Laser Jet Space 1020 Driver. And once you're done typing, hit the Enter key so that you would be redirected to the result. So you can see a first result which is under support.hp.com which is the official website for HP support. Now click on this link being attached to it and eventually you would be redirected to a new window where you can see the HP LaserJet 1020 printer series. So please scroll down here and you would be able to see this download option. All you need to do is you need to click on download and the moment you click on it, it will start on the downloading process. So in my case, I have already downloaded such, but in your case, if not, please wait until it would be downloaded. Once done, please navigate to the three dots here, scroll down and go with the downloads, and you would be able to see all of the downloaded files that you have here in your windows. So I have here, and aligning to it, you can see there a folder icon. Please click on it to show it into the location where it is being placed to or saved to, okay? So... Before you proceed, okay, make sure also that you have selected the correct operating system, okay, or the correct system type that you have, okay, so it will detect, anyway, it will detect automatically your operating system. So, I have a Windows 11, but unfortunately, it does not detect for Windows 11. It's not available for Windows 11, but don't worry because Windows 10 64-bit 100% work for Windows 11. You can also choose a different OS if you would like to, and by that, you would you can choose your operating system, okay? So, please navigate to the second tab where you can see your download history and select on this folder icon to show it in folder and from here please make a right click and go with this cap icon from that please close the window as well as this one and at the desktop please make a right click and go with the spaced icon to successfully move it here to the desktop so there are two ways on how to unzip the file you can double tap to it and in that way you would be able to unzip it or you can simply make a right click and scroll down on the list of the option and please proceed to this WinRAR tool if you have and you can extract to it using this tool. So please wait until it would be successfully extracted before we continue to the installation. So once a new file folder has been created, meaning we have successfully installed it. So this is, is the time that you need to add, proceed at the button search bar here and type for settings. So the moment you have typed it, wait until a best match should appear. You can also press Windows key and I key together and in that way you would be able to bring up the settings window. So once the best match should appear, you can see there are an open option. Please click on it so that you would be redirected to the settings window itself. Once everything are set, please navigate to the left side of it. You can see there are Bluetooth and devices. And under the Bluetooth and devices, please proceed to the third option, which is printers and scanners. 
So from here, aligning at the printer or scanner, you can see an option where you can add a device. Please click on it and wait until the process would be finished. Once this option, which is the printer that I want, is enlisted, please navigate to the option where you can see Add Manually. Click on it so that you can manually add a printer. So from here, please navigate to the Add a Local Printer or Network Printer with Manual Settings and click on Next. And from here, it will ask you to choose a printer port. Just go with either if you have HP printer port, you can go with this or you can select either of these three USB port. It could be 001, 002, or 003. In my case, I'll be setting for USB 001 and click on next and go with have disk browse. And since our extracted file has been located at the desktop, then by that you need to navigate to the desktop and please scroll down here and navigate to the extracted file. So double tap to it and please scroll down and choose either of these two. Okay, so click on open and click on OK to continue and please select 1020. So by that, please click on next and from here, click on next and it will now start on the installation. Now, please wait for some time until this would be done. Okay, so I would suggest to allow for printer sharing, so click on next. And if you would like it to set it as your default printer, please check the box. Or you can also run to check if a printer is working properly by clicking on this print the test page. So go with finish once you're good. And there you have that you would be able to install the HP Laser Chat 1020. And if you would check it also on the devices and printer settings, so navigate to the devices. And here at the device settings, please scroll down on the list of the option and click on more devices and printer settings so that you can bring up it. So in this one, just you can see it there under the printers HP LaserJet 1020. So by that, you can now close the window and you're good to go. So if you think this video helped you a lot, then please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button as well as the bell icon to be updated for more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching this video and have a good day everyone.